Okay, so if you have this um, ASUS or ASUS Prime B560M-AAC um, and you're missing some drivers, so let's actually go ahead and um, start this computer back up. All right, so we're missing some drivers on here. I'm gonna show you in the device manager. Give me a second, I'll be back once it's up. Okay, so first thing, we're gonna go to the device manager. So in here, I right click the start menu, device manager. You can see we're missing two PCI devices, SM bus controller, and we have an unknown device. We're gonna actually just search the motherboard model number. Um, in Google, you can use Bing or whatever uh, else, Yahoo, all right? We're gonna search that. Here you can see Prime B560M AAC. We're gonna click that. Make sure it's actually from the manufacturer's website. Here you can see ASUS. Right, we're gonna accept all the cookies. Here we have the motherboard. Let's see, is this, did I go to the right one? Usually we wanna go to the one with the support. So this is actually, I think the wrong. Let's see, does that work? Okay, so there's this little arrow thing here you can click, okay, to go down. We're gonna go to support and hopefully that will open up. Yep, there you go. We got driver and tools, we're gonna go there. Make sure you're on the correct version of Windows. We're on Windows 10, 64 bit actually and you can expand all if you want or collapse all okay we're going to expand all here's LAN. we don't need that wireless so here's the chipset driver so we're going to need intel serial io driver okay so i'm going to download that and i'm going to just save it to the desktop and then we're also going to need if they have it here intel chipset driver so we'll download that as well and we'll also save that to desktop you can save it wherever you want but just make sure it's somewhere you can find it Okay, so once these two files download, which they did, uh, I'm gonna right click these. If you have um, Windows Explorer, it's gonna open like this. Um, but I'm gonna have 7-zip, I'm gonna go to 7-zip and I'm gonna say extract to this folder. Okay, and same thing with the other one, extract, well, let me oh, close that. Okay, same thing with the chipset one, 7-zip and extract to here. All right, if you don't have it, um, I believe you can still right click and you'll probably have an extract button. If you don't and you just double click and it opens a folder like that, you can just create a new folder on your desktop and then just grab everything in here and throw it inside. That's the same thing that's extracting the files and you'll see them all in a folder there. All right, so I created these folders, so we're gonna do that. We got the Intel IO one, we'll click that and we'll go set up serial. IIO, or you can do ASUS setup. I think both ways will work. We're gonna do the ASUS one, and you can see it automatically does that anyways. Next, accept, next, and you'll see actually this thing, oops. Okay, and then next again, and next again, and we should see one of these disappear, if not more. I think it's just one of them. So right now there's four. Once that finishes, okay, so now you can see two of them went away. So we're gonna click finish, close that, and now we're gonna do the Intel chipset one. Okay, same thing, ASUS setup. And did I click it twice? Okay, I think it's loading, there you go. All right, next, accept, next, install. Okay, and we should hopefully see those last two disappear. And of course, now let me close this and there you go. So all the drivers are installed now. We just got to restart the computer and we're good to go. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Oh yeah, and then obviously after you've finished, you can just throw everything in the recycle bin and you can empty that. All right, that's it. Again, thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.